We have with us today the most fresh and sweet news from the Korean bio industry. My name is Juri Wong and I will be delivering some of Korea's hottest biotech issues today for you. So don't forget to subscribe, like and set your alarm for BioTV. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas. For today's Bio News, we will bring you the news on SK's push to acquire Epocacy, a French bio CMO company, as well as information on the Ministry of Health and Welfare's investment plan to inject 787.8 billion won into R&D projects in 2021. The reasons why the ministry has increased its budget for the next year are said to be in support of clinical trials for COVID-19 vaccines and treatments and to push forward with the R&D of dementia treatments. In addition, we will deliver briefs on two member companies of Korea Bio, Miko Biomed and Bioneer. Well then, let's get started. SK Farm Techo, a wholly owned subsidiary of SK Holdings, is in talks to acquire the French biologic CMO Epocacy. Epocacy, established in 2016, specializes in gene and cell therapies. In particular, it has a manufacturing platform for viral vectors that deliver genes. It is a key factor in researching and developing gene and cell therapies. If this acquisition becomes a reality, it will be the first biologic CMO acquisition by SK. SK ambitiously aims to become a new rising global CMO with this acquisition, using it as a stepping stone. Indeed, SK had recently jumped into a biopharma market, including its collaboration with U.S. biofirm Royvan Sciences for new drug development based on Royvan's targeted protein degradation platform, as well as its ongoing move to acquire Epocacy. If the deal succeeds, SK will have to compete with Samsung Biologics and Celtrion. However, it is expected that SK will focus on gene cell therapies, setting it apart from the other two major bio companies in Korea that mostly mass produce antibody drugs. The Ministry of Health and Welfare is set to invest 787.8 billion won in R&D projects in 2021. This is a whooping 50% more budget compared to the year 2020. In particular, the ministry has decided to channel this massive investment into four strategic areas, strengthening capacity to respond to epidemic crisis, developing promising biohealth technologies, increasing R&D investments for public benefits, and supporting R&D connected with medical sites. Regarding epidemic responses, the ministry will invest intensively in clinical and non-clinical trial research projects for COVID-19 treatments and vaccines. For advanced biohealth technologies, it will support the research and development of regenerative medicine to overcome highly incurable diseases as well as the development of customized medical technology utilizing big data and artificial intelligence. In addition, research projects on intractable diseases including dementia and other chronic diseases will secure the ministry's full support to alleviate the social and economic burden for the patients. In particular, the ministry will provide financial support for dementia across all stages of the disease, from finding the cause to its prevention, early diagnosis and treatment. Furthermore, the ministry's investment will also be used to rebuild a hospital center research platform that can be utilized by industry, academia, research, and medical centers, and to nurture this platform as the hub of the research ecosystem. Let's hope that the ministry's ambition to keep expanding its investment in R&D for public benefits and highly promising biohealth technologies will bring about hope for the patients and the industry. Now let's move on to the briefs on two member companies of Korea Bio. First, Miko Bio Med's COVID-19 diagnostic kit has been approved for emergency use by WHO. The name of the product is VeryQ PCR 316 Coronavirus Disease 2019 Detection System, which allows a rapid diagnosis based on the polymerase chain reaction. 
It is well known for providing a result with just an hour using lab on a chip technology. Miko Biomed announced its ambition to expand exports by collaborating actively with WHO affiliated organizations and partner institutions for COVID 19 support projects. In this process, the company Small Size Diagnostic System is expected to play a vital role based on its suitability for an on site use in developing countries that lack medical and quarantine infrastructure. Furthermore, the company is said to have already provided foreign aid worth 10 billion won to Colombia and Ethiopia this year with the Economic Development Cooperation Fund, the Korea International Cooperation Agency and Institute Posture. Last but not least, Bioneer has succeeded in winning approval from the Mexican Food and Drug Administration to supply its diagnostic kit for both COVID-19 and influenza A and B. The product named AccuPower RV1 Multiplex Kit has obtained approval for exports from the Korean Food and Drug Administration in October. It is said that this product has shown 100% accuracy in the clinical tests conducted by the Mexican Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Since Mexico is a core market to Bioneer, for instance, importing dozens of instruments for nucleic acid extraction, contributing to the $5 billion won worth of company sales only this year. Bioneer is committed to maintaining its solid relationship with Mexico going forward. I guess many of you will remember the year 2020 as the year of COVID-19. The entire world has suffered from the virus for literally the whole entire year. I hope all of us will be able to appreciate the value and happiness of everyday life in the coming 2021 and look forward to k Bayer doing its part to make it a reality. Well, that's it for today's news. So don't forget to subscribe, like and set your alarm for Bayer News. And one more thing today, Korea Bio has published an English brochure, so please take a look via the link included in the video introduction. Make sure to have Korea Bio as a friend on Facebook and LinkedIn as well, and I'll come back to you in 2021 with more new interesting issues related to the Korean bio industry. Bye.